In this video, we'll look at how to add a box to our labels and a shadow. At the moment, we've got some city labels and they have call out lines. If I look at the label properties, then we can see that we have a buffer, but I'm gonna turn this off and I'm gonna click apply. So we've just got the text. And now I am gonna draw a background. So I'll choose background. I'll tick the draw background box and I'll click apply. If you do this, the background is usually quite tight around the text. So I'll increase the size X, so that's the width. I'll increase that by two and click apply. I'll give it a little bit more space, so let's move that to three. And then I'll give it a little bit more space vertically in the Y dimension, so I'll click apply. I want to round the corner slightly here, so let's give the corner radius a value of two and two and then I'll click apply. So it just takes the sharpness away. So what I'll do now is I'll go to shadow and I'll draw a drop shadow on these. If I click apply, we can see we've now got a little drop shadow that lifts it off the page. The last thing I'm gonna do is just draw a little line around each label. So for that, I'll go back to background. This isn't immediately obvious, but this is how you do it. I'll click the little drop down button at the end of the color patch I'll click configure symbol and then from here one more click to simple fill. So by default the stroke style is on no pen so it means there's no line. So I'm going to change that to solid line and the colour for the stroke I'll change it to I'll click this button again. I'll just change it to standard colour black and then I'll make it a little bit thicker 0.4 thickness. Click OK and apply. So that's how we can apply a text background with a shadow and, a, and an outline. And if we look at the other things, we increased the width and the height and we rounded the corners. So just experiment with these settings and you can find them really useful.